Melissa Render here. I'm the VP of Exploration at Newfound Gold. Some of you are aware we've recently expanded our property package northward, acquiring Labrador Gold's Kingsway project. We recently initiated our first drilling program, and today I've got one hole from the first few that were put into that project, about 8.4 kilometers along strike from the Keats zone along the Appleton corridor. And this hole was targeted following up on a vein that was sitting just northeast of Big Vein. They had had a couple of intercepts into it, some nice broad intervals of quartz with about four grams or so over six meters in one hole and about another four grams over eight meters in another hole that we were targeting specifically. Sitting out there on its own with not a lot of drilling around it and we've named it pistachio which you will see why once we get into looking at the core uh, up close. Uh, so this is hole 2153. So we've got an interval here from about 209 meters down to 253 meters down hole on the bench right now. This is where kind of the intensity of the deformation picks up. Uh, we've seen a lot of those ductile brittle fabrics in the rock, the introduction of the quartz veining, some visible gold here as well, um, some brecciation, and in and out of structure, quite typical of what we see elsewhere along the Appleton. Down through about 219 meters, here we have this nice fault zone. It's just loaded with arsenopyrite. Uh, we actually see the arsenopyrite coming in throughout this structural corridor, but it's particularly concentrated in this structure where you see a lot of these nice brecciated textures, reworked quartz veins, and through here to this nice breccia vein with quite a large amount of coarse visible gold. So just in here, you can see there's quite a few occurrences in and around the margins of some of these breccia fragments. And this vein as well. And again, very similar to the mineralization style we get at Queensway. Going from there, the deformation continues. It kind of drops out a bit through here until further down hole where we hit another quite sizable vein at just around 244 meters down hole. This one is much larger. It's got quite a bit of disseminated boulangerite, which is one of the key metallic minerals that is associated with the mineralization at Queensway. And this one does have some nice vugs throughout it. This is where we start to see that kind of greenish alteration, which hence the name pistachio. You can see the nice bugs in it. This is a particularly nice coarse gold within the vein there. And you can see that all that greenish alteration around the vein with some carbonate spotting, likely some iron carbonate and sericite. And again, just the gold kind of throughout the vein. And then again, along the margins. And you can probably see the, the amount of sparkle uh, in the wall rock there, which just a lot of fine disseminated arsenopyrite. So a good start to the program. This is really just getting our feet wet, uh, trying to get an understanding of the geology up there and, and how it relates to what we've seen further south. Uh, and this seemed like a good place to start. So we're quite encouraged with what we've found so far. So stay tuned for, for more updates.